Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So it is a slow news week and thank God for that. The, the news media has been dominated by the likes of Donald Trump, Kamala Harris and Waltz and all the back crap and saying stuff that's going on over there. And look, I would make updated videos about the Trump nonsense, but I think you guys are pretty much aware of it and sick of it just as much as I am. And secondly, uh, YouTube doesn't really like me too much when I talk about Trump on this show and they, they censor me a lot compared to other people. And my videos have been considerably censored since the Olympics. I wonder why that is. But uh, anyway, today we're going to be talking about a story that I first heard uh, someone that I know share with me. And look, the reason why I didn't make a video on it was twofold. Obviously, I've got so many other videos that I want to make and there's a lot of news media to cover. And secondly, I don't think my channel can give this story the exposure that it so deserves. Hence why I didn't really make a video about it at the time. But the good thing is this person named Cassandra didn't give up and she went to someone that actually has a much broader reach than I do. And lo and behold, the Daily Mail actually got a hold of this story and I'm glad that they did because this story does need to be told. So an Australian woman's complaint at hostel backfires as manager fires back. This guest is lucky we didn't press charges on her. Imagine you've gone to a ho hostel or hotel, um, a hostel, right? So hostels are those places where it's sort of like a group uh, shared accommodation kind of thing. I, I wouldn't go there myself because that's just not my style, but nevertheless, people do that because it's cheap. Uh, it's a cheap way of traveling and also you can meet some great people. But the problem is when you're in a shared accommodation, it opens you up to a lot of absurd things like the fact of having a transgender individual using the bathroom that you're using as a woman, stuff like that, right? Which is exactly what happened. So here we go. Australian traveler in France who complained there was a trans woman, a biological man in a female only bathroom at their hostel was shocked to be told that she had broken the law by raising her concerns. So over in France, people, France at the moment under Macron, the dictator Macron and the communist Macron, I should say, who, by the way, uh, arrested the uh, Telegram founder recently i haven't covered that story yet i'm waiting to see what will happen it's absurd and, and nuts if you ask me to arrest the founder of telegram a free speech platform in a country where you claim to all to be about free speech yet you're not you're doing the complete opposite it's like censoring speech in a major way and you're accusing the founder of a free speech platform of something quite heinous and horrific which is not true, but coming to a country near you, ladies and gentlemen, if we're not too careful. Anyway, Melbourne woman Cassandra was visiting the French city of Lyon to watch the Olympics women's soccer on July 26 and 27. Cassandra said she booked a women-only dorm with an ensuite at Alta Hostel in Lyon through the app Hostel World and arrived there late on the night of, of July 25th. Upon entering her room, her dorm room, it was dark and everyone was asleep in bed, so she was unaware of who her roommates were. On the, on the first morning, she was shocked to see a trans woman, a biological male, who she initially thought was a man in the bathroom. She asked to speak to the hostel manager. I showed my, my visibly shaking hands from my bathroom privacy being breached, Cassandra said. His response was, it's not my issue. It's not my problem. Imagine that, right? You've gone up, you're shaking hands at this. Uh, you're visibly shocked and surprised, and the uh, manager doesn't really give a crap. I don't care about what you've been through. Gee, that's customer service in a nutshell for you, isn't it? It's not my issue. It's not my problem. You deal with it yourself. Uh, but I'm paying to be here. Not my problem. Not my issue. Deal with it yourself. Uh, but if I do deal with it myself, I will be kicked out and I'll probably be arrested. Uh, yeah, still not my problem. Still not my issue. You deal with it yourself. I said, I paid for a women's only service. Can I have my money back? 
The manager said the hostel classified them, the guest, as a woman. Just because the hostel or the manager classifies the person, the biological man, as a woman. It's so. You must get uh, get used to it. Uh, no, still not my problem. Not my issue. You deal with it yourself because I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, he told me my stance was political and not factual. Weaponizing of the political identity nonsense at the moment, that's what it's become. Like if you say that you're a woman and you're a biological man, hey, not my problem, not my issue. You are that. So leave it be. Don't complain. Incredible. And it's definitely factual that a biological man identified as a woman is still not a woman, by the way. Despite her request to have the conversation in private, Cassandra said it was conducted in earshot of others at the hostel, including the 20-year-old American trans guest uh, Sandra encountered in the bathroom. Sandra wrote to Hostel World explaining why she re was request requesting a refund. They gave her a six-month voucher and promised to follow up with the hostel. So that's not too bad of a, a deal, like six-month voucher, but still, like, the, Cassandra shouldn't have had her space invaded by a biological man. Like, that just should be without saying. Uh, it doesn't seem like it was the actual hostel itself offering this. It's the hostel world, the ones you book through. So at least Hostel World, I don't know if they have the policy like the Hostel, but anyway. However, the Hostel's response, forwarded by Hostel World, accused Cassandra of being in the wrong. This guest was transphobic, the Hostel wrote. And by the way, Cassandra did send me the emails, and I can confirm these emails. Uh, this line, the guest was transphobic. I couldn't believe it myself, but... Nevertheless, expect the unexpected quite literally with hostels in France nowadays, right? What she did not mention is that the man that was in the bathroom was a woman. Man who transitioned to woman, so identifying as a woman, which uh, mean not a woman. I'm glad they put this in brackets, right? This is from the Daily Mail. <laughs> Her personal opinion on the subject does not matter. In France, being transphobic is prohibited by law. That's uh, rather interesting. What would you consider to be transphobic? Saying, I don't feel comfortable being in the space or the presence of a man that identifies as a woman. Yes, that's transphobic. To jail with you. Like, what the hell? She clearly refused to admit this person, to admit this person was a woman because this person is not a woman and that's not transphobic to say. That is called fact. Nevertheless, I decided to refund her last night and kindly pleased her to find a hostel that will meet her needs. Spoiler, absolutely all hostels in line permit trans people. There you go. So I think um, the man who transitioned to woman, so identifying as a woman, which means she is a woman. I believe that's from the hostel. So I just wanted to correct that for you guys. This guest is lucky we didn't press charges on her. Not the trans person, but Cassandra. We are not sorry for her as we do not tolerate such behavior. Wow. That's a, that's a statement of the century, isn't it? The guest is lucky we didn't press charges on her. The biological dude that invaded the woman's only space, but we are like, the woman's lucky we didn't press charges on the actual woman. Cassandra, we are not sorry. But yeah, you would be sorry for the biological dude because you pander to the biological dude, don't you? Discrimination on the basis of sexual identity, oh, I hate that, but anyway, has been banned since 2012 in France. In 2016, the term sexual identity was replaced by gender identity. Of course, sexual identity is a little bit different to that of gender identity now with the law covering transphobia. But Rachel Wong, a women, women's... Forum Australia said the policy jeopardizes the safety of women. The reason hostels have female dorms is to protect the safety and privacy of female travelers who may not feel comfortable sharing intimate sleeping and bathroom spaces with men, she told Daily Mail Australia. Female dorms and indeed any female-only space 
should only be accessible to females. If they are not truly female only, this needs to be made clear so that women can choose to opt out. So that's the story, ladies and gentlemen. Be very careful when you're traveling, women, because you never know, especially over in France. You never know what you're going to come across over there because it's just like a very, very woke liberal city. Look what they did to the Olympics. Just go without saying, shouldn't it? But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, not so, not so world. Too many dingbats running around. Anyway, my friends, you guys take care. You be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video.